Hello everybody, welcome to Insta Vlogs. Yeah, this is the second part of BBTRL Big Bang Theory Live. And we've been retooling, resetting, and readjusting this uh, series uh, until we get it right. And that's, the, that's what Season Zero is all about. And as we grow, as we adjust, uh, so do these episodes. And you can sort of see the history of what's been going on. If you go back through our playlist, you'll search the everything there from the beginning, how one thing evolves. And you'll see that almost every few months there's a change. Uh, to uh, the site, to, the, to our channel, to what's going on. There's always improvements, there's always upgrades. And this is sort of what we're striving for here. What you're seeing is, uh, and this is my goal here, is to bring out the uh, unedited research that a scientist would do, something like Sheldon, Co something like Sheldon Cooper. Uh, if you go to the TV, ser TV series Big Bang Theory, uh, it's about uh, seven geeks, seven uh, astrophysicists, basically. Uh, well, not seven, but no, it's uh, four of them. It's Raj, Sheldon, Leonard, and um, Howard. Uh, they're all friends together. Oh, they're all basically nerds. They're all in the, uh, the physics end of the sciences. And what I aim to do is I aim to show the real life version of this this is sort of uh, the reality show of Big Bang Theory that's why it's called Big Bang Theory RL but what happens is that it I've been recently told that and I, they're right is that not everyone wants to see someone talking about heavy stuff on physics heavy stuff like research and so on and so forth that people want to see a variety of things so what I did is I've recently split uh, Big Bang Theory RL into two components. There's the uh, BTS vlogs, the BTS vlog, I should say. The BTS vlog is the behind the scenes stuff. That's what I'm doing on a daily basis uh, cleaning, going food shopping, uh, the daily schedules, so on and so forth. The research and the research notes that will eventually become documentaries uh, will, are now in uh, BTS vlogs. And the reason why, not uh, uh, in the Insta, Insta vlogs. And the reason why they're Insta Vlogs, not BTS Vlog, BTS Vlog is one vlog, continuous, it's a continuous uh, evolution of what I'm doing. Insta, Insta Vlogs is a collection of other vlogs uh, into one main uh, category or grouping. And these are all the research notes. And as you do research in different areas, they have the, the areas have different identifications. And this is sort of what I was going to talk about today. And I got my new note system now, which is which is, work, is working out great. It allows me to have my notes in a, in a much more convenient fashion, so I can go over and talk about things in a manner that I really didn't have an opportunity to do so before. So uh, let's see here. The way we'll be uh, uh, labeling the episodes is because this is a vlog. I decided rather than giving it an episode number that we'll do this by the date that this vlog was actually recorded. Uh, so this is, uh, what's today's date? Today's date is uh, Saturday, November, November 9th. So, and it's tw uh, it's uh, 13, 26, uh, 13 hours and 26 or 1, 1.30. So this will be the, uh, how we'll, we'll start labeling it. It's, it's sort of like a, if you go on to Star Trek or any uh, of these science type of shows where they're, the captain is keeping the log, he gives the star date uh, and then begins to give the log after that, this is sort of like exactly going to be exactly the same thing. Because vlogs are logs, uh, let's do it in the Captain Kirk, the uh, Captain John Luke Picard style. Let's give it, you know, in that date style. So our date stamp would be um, uh, 
no, uh, Saturday, November 9th, 2013, at 13 hours and 21 minutes. Now, I don't use the military time of 1,300 hours because it's not 1,300 hours in the day. There's only 24 hours in the day. And we are 24 hours, we are 13 hours and 27 minutes into the day of Saturday, November 9th, 2013. So that's the way we're going to label it, and <laughs> we'll go on from there. And as I said, because the uh, logs are vlogs, uh, the vlogs in the Insta vlogs are going to be the logs of the research that are going on, and it's going to be split up into a variety of different subcategories. And uh, so the, the Insta vlogs will have sub vlogs in there, it will be made up, made up of sub vlogs. And this would be the uh, cybernetics vlog, the AP space vlog, the BAS or the BAS vlog, the OR vlog. The geo vlog, and that's what I have so far. And there's a couple more maybe coming in, but this covers the basic area, uh, and you'll be seeing these come in over the next month or so, and sort of get an idea of how it's going to work. And the way you'll see it labeled is, is we'll see Insta vlogs will be in the fancy brackets, and then hashtag next to it will be the sub vlog. So it'll be Insta vlogs in the fancy bracket, hashtag. And let's say if we're doing something on a quantum psychology, it will be a uh, cybernetics vlog. And that's the way we'll sort of we'll, we'll label these different things. Um, the, cyber, the, the cybernetics vlog, it, you hear me talk about quantum psychology, it would be inside the uh, cybernetics vlog. Well, the reason for that is that while it is specific to quantum physics, because we're dealing with psychology in cybernetics does more specifically deal with the science of psychology and behavior sciences, uh, particularly using physics to sort of create a mechanical version or a mechanical model of the human being. Uh, in other words, uh, cybernetics is computer science with the intention of anthropomor anthropomor anthropomorphizing uh, the machine known as the computer. In other words, the more human-like we can make the machine, uh, that is our goal. Uh, and so that's why, even though the mechanical part of it is physics, uh, and really does belong in physics, we subcategorize it into cybernetics uh, and deal with it as a cybernetics vlog. So, 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 so quantum psychology, which is sort of the next signpost we're looking into, for uh, uh, quantum mechanics, uh, we want to see. Is we said, uh, as I said before, and in the previous vlogs and in previous videos, and I will be going back over this again. Uh, it's no longer acceptable to say that quantum physics is the last uh, line of physics. In other words, uh, if you look at how we've pushed physics out in terms of our understanding of physics, rather than simply saying that quantum physics is the end boundary of, where, of, of, of the universe and that there's no more knowledge after that. We now, instead, instead of putting a solved line there, for those of you who know your mathematics, you put a dashed line. That means that it's permeable, that you can go beyond it. And, but, but what happens is that the reason why we do a dashed line is that's our presumed edge right now. We know there's an edge outside of it, but we have no idea where the edge outside of it is, the next edge. But... We do know the edge of quantum mechanics. The next goal is to sort of extend that line further out into the next categorization. And for me, my next signpost uh, would be, and in looking at this through quantum psychology, uh, quantum psychology is an observational uh, perspective of psychology. Fundamentally, uh, psychology as it stands today is a pseudoscience. The reason being is that uh, psychology and psychiatry and everything based on there has been fundamentally contradicted by its own uh, its own uh, theories. For give, give an example, uh, the fundamentals of psychiatry and psychology are that the soul and God doesn't exist. In other words, it's fundamentally atheistic based. The problem with that is 
the name of psychology is literally from the Greek study of the soul. So how can how can you study the soul if you don't believe the soul exists? This is this is the argument put forward. So in other words, the this concept that they've put forward, the psychologists put forward uh, with Freud and everybody else, that God doesn't exist. Uh, and the soul doesn't, therefore the soul doesn't exist. They fundamentally contradict the term psychology. So they are, in fact, now a pseudo-psychology. And if we want to bring in a real psychology, then that's going to have to be a quantum psychology because we're, this gives us the opportunity now Rather than to use a classical science view of psychology, let's take the observational view that we have out of astronomy, out of physics, that produce quantum mechanics, bring that in, and have the experimentation lead and observation lead theory. So this is how we're going to approach it here, uh, and that's how it connects to quantum mechanics. But because it is, again, the part of the work that's being done and the research that's being done here is working on cyborgs and cybernetics is going to be under the cybernetics vlog. So that's how we've categorized that. Uh, and I said I've been able to sort of find good uh, 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 arguments for doing this and I will be bringing them up in, uh, pre in succeeding uh, Insta vlogs. The next one will be... Um, it is going to be the AP Space Vlog. The AP, AP stands for Astronomy and Physics. And, of course, there's space in there. So, uh, it's anything that has to do with astronomy, physics, space, anything along those lines will be in there. And one of the things I, that this will include, uh, the, te the project, this will include Project Tesla. Sorry. This will include pro Project Tesla. Uh, it will include uh, the Quantum Physics Lab project that I'm working on to build a quantum physics lab. And the thing is, is that the Project Tesla is the first chunk of the quantum physics lab. That's the first step into the quantum physics lab, is going to be Project Tesla. And then from there on out, we are also going to be looking at uh, a do a, doing a preliminary survey, a general survey on ghost hunting and ghosts themselves. Uh, this will be done under physics. We're going to take a physics pers uh, perspective, a physics approach to this because... Uh, they're using EMF, they're using electromagnetic fields, they're using Gauss, they're using magnetic fields themselves to look to look at things. They're using these uh, these ghost box, these ghost boxes that they talk about. They're primarily physics, they're primarily radio. And it crosses over into Tesla's area. Because if you're talking about radio, anything that you talk about radio, you're crossing over into Tesla territory. And because of this, uh, ghost hunting most appropriately belongs... Uh, in the physics area, so it's going to be in the AP, the AP uh, space vlog, which is for astronomy, physics, and uh, anything including space. So that's where that's coming from. Uh, that changes things because I had initially put quantum psychology and all those other things under under uh, the BAS vlog. The BAS stands for Byzantine Antiquity Studies, uh, but the Byzantine Antiquity Studies is now changed and is going to focus on what it should be focusing on. And this is anthropology and archaeology, language and linguistics, and then this leads into library sciences. Uh, and that's where we're going to go with that. Um, of course, uh, because everything extends from physics, but not everything, can, within, uh, not everything should be just lumped under physics. Uh, it needs subcategories. There's next, the, the next vlog is going to be the OR vlog, or the OR vlog. Uh, and OR stands for uh, ocean, oceanographic and atmospheric research vlog. This will look at the um, atmospheric physics and the and the fluid and thermodynamics of the atmosphere itself, including water, how things intermix. Uh, it is more of the. Uh, it's not climate science. This was this way. It's not climate science. It will look at climate science, but it's going to break things down into the more fundamental physics physics component and look at the physics of things. And it will be the physics that determines whether or not something is occurring or not occurring. And not up to a political decision or a popular decision. Popularity has nothing to do with it. It's going to be the observation and the experimentation that's going to lead the theory and the, uh, and the conclusions of, as to 
what are, what is going on, if we can draw any formal conclusions at all. I mean, is it, it, in a lot of these, the, the quantum mechanics, when you're doing the random walk, when you're doing this exploration, uh, you cannot draw a, a, a finite conclusion. You can come to a preliminary conclusion. You can come to an elementary conclusion because you have an elementary understanding of things. But you have to understand that, that this elementary understanding remains elementary, that the, the, the knowledge that you're seeking, that end goal of knowledge that you're seeking is as I'm taught of and can never be reached. And so this is sort of the way things go here. And because of that, the next vlog that we have, and this is sort of our final vlog, is going to be the geo vlog. The geo vlog is going to be looking at uh, earthquakes and volcanoes. In other words, we're going to be looking at the physics of the earth. Now, there's something very special in here that I do want to eventually bring out in here, but it's still within the lab. And this will talk, we'll talk about information and why, in some cases, uh, information and research needs to be sequestered. Sometimes you want to have research be isolated from popular view because you need to test it out without having other eyes on it. You need to sort of see, you need to ask yourself the question, this is self-analysis, is what you're seeing real? In other words, is your observation correct? And not until you get a confirmation of your observation, that your observation is correct, do you move forward to bring some of these information, some of the information you may have out. And this gives rise to the hidden libraries and to the hidden archives. Because many our scientists will can't create because of this sequestered point of view uh, and they need to sort of really understand things before you put it out. There's always a hidden library to most scientists. Whether it's myself or somebody else or Tesla or whoever it is, they'll always have a hidden library of things that they're working on that they haven't finished yet. And it's the stuff they haven't gotten to the point where they're comfortable to bring it out publicly. And uh, there's a lot there's a lot of that out there. And so as you go through this, as you, as you go, you know, look into it, as you do your research, um, these things are going to exist. So not everything is going to come out in Insta vlogs. Not everything is going to be put out to the public. There are stuff, there is stuff that's going to be kept back. So what you will be seeing is, an, again, and this is fitting for science, it's going to be an approximation of what's going on here. And a good enough approximation to sort of see what goes on on more or less a daily basis here. Uh, that being said, uh, because InstaVlogs is now its own section, all discussions about InstaVlogs and the conversations that occur about InstaVlogs and the topics we talk about will now be rolled into InstaVlogs. In other words, we're not going to have a separate list, a playlist, for InstaVlog discussion. It's going to be all involved. It's going to be, and the thing is, we're going to, I'm going to bring discussions, comments that are left uh, on the uh, InstaVlog page uh, or on the video channel, uh, on, sorry, on the video page. Uh, all that's going to come into here. You may put up uh, a rebuttal video. I don't care, you know, however you want to do this. That's not a problem to me. Uh, I look forward to discussions. I look forward to, you don't always have to agree with me. I look forward to, in some cases, disagreements that challenge ideas and thoughts. Uh, so uh, that's how I'm gonna, going to approach discussions and comments. And I know YouTube is always changing things because it's going into a closer and closer relationship with, uh, YouTube is going into a closer relationship with Google. It's eventually going to be rolled primarily into Google as a full Google product, uh, so you can look forward to a you uh, look forward to if that's what you want to look if that's the way you want to view things. Look forward to a unified YouTube Google entity. Um. So that's about it for now. Um, I think I leave this segment here for now, like this. This will be a short video introducing InstaVlogs. I will come back uh, probably Monday or Tuesday and record a second InstaVlog. InstaVlogs are not going to be on a daily basis. They'll be problem, primarily uh, two, maybe three times a week, depending on how much work has to fit in here. We will have an, a format that is up to uh, a half hour in length. So, and the thing is, they're going to be unedited. They're not going to be edited up. These are going to be raw notes. So, that's it for now. I'm going to leave this here. 
And I will see you probably on Monday or Tuesday. All right, take it easy.